The Sandbot robot is ready to serve and protect. Hyperloop test track spotted being built in LA, Mercedes Benz's in-car office, and more. It's Friday, September 2nd, and this is Crunch Report. It's Friday, Friday, gonna have tech news on Friday. That's cheesy, but that's an original tune and song. Sambot is a robot with a super weird video to debut it. The plucky little robot has flipper arms, a pair of wheels for feet, and a body chock full of various sensors to help it perform a factotum of different jobs, from security guard to nursing home companion to educational assistant. I want this pair. This looks pretty. According to the company, this iteration of Sambot has already been deployed at various spots in China. She's cute. She is. A smarter marriage proposal? Anna, will you marry me? Music. From retail establishments to airports. The pricing on this little guy isn't crazy. At 45,000 won, around $6,000, I'll take two. The company will also be revealing an updated version of the robot with articulated hands in China later this month. SpaceX is building a test track for Hyperloop pods for a student competition, and this is a glimpse of what the track looks like so far. SpaceX is hosting a Hyperloop pod design competition for students and engineering teams, and 23 winners were selected earlier this year to build their pod prototypes and race them on the test track, a one-mile tube capable of achieving 99.8% vacuum. That's awesome. Back when SpaceX first announced the competition, the timing of the final round, which includes the actual test of final prototype pods, was set for summer 2016. But in July, SpaceX announced that it would slip to January of next year. In partnership with European e-commerce company Zolando, Google's Project Muse set out to test the applications of machine learning to fashion design. Leveraging TensorFlow, Google's open source AI technology, researchers fed a neural network color, texture, and style preferences from over 600 fashion experts. After a thorough education, the system was uploaded to the internet so anyone can input music, art, and mood preferences to receive personalized recommendations. Our own Sarah Perez put the tech through its paces, and Google seems to think she has a Lady Gaga side. She presents ugly pajamas wrapped in a vine, pointy shawl that looks like an amethyst crystal attached to your body, and giant cape with clashing jumper. Ugh, I think it looks nice, but maybe not her. Google says it will show off Project Muse at the trend show Bread and Butter in Berlin this week. Speaking of nothing to do with fashion, Braintree is a scalable payments platform that grows with your business. Visit braintreepayments.com slash crunch report. Speculation is emerging from a new report by the Android police that Google is set to release two new phones this fall. The 5-inch Pixel and 5.5-inch Pixel XL will replace the company's Nexus line of phones. The name Pixel, of course, comes from other in-house hardware projects like the Chromebook Pixel and the Pixel C tablet. The new phones, however, are expected to be made by HTC rather than an internal team at Google while still adopting the Pixel name. Also at the October event, we are expected to be treated to a new smart speaker, a new Daydream VR headset, and an updated 4K Chromecast. We've been covering IFA 2016 in Berlin this week, and there is some cool stuff like this. Mercedes-Benz announced a new project called In-Car Office to incorporate more smart productivity features into your ride. The features are going to go live in Mercedes vehicles during the first half of next year and will add Microsoft Exchange support for one, letting your work calendar, to-do lists, and contacts help your vehicle offer up suggestions about destinations, calls to make, and more. The in-car office feature obviously isn't intended to turn your vehicle into a mobile workstation, so much as it's designed to help you more easily accomplish work-related tasks you'd probably field on the go anyway. Don't text and drive. Lastly, just want to give a congrats to Josh who won two tickets to Disrupt yesterday. We'll do it again next week. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. Have a good weekend. See you Tuesday. Happy Labor Day.